How much baking soda should I use as a meat tenderizer? Welcome to our video on using baking soda as a meat tenderizer. In this video, we will discuss the proper amount of baking soda to use and provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to tenderize your meat. Let's get started. Why use baking soda as a meat tenderizer? Baking soda is an excellent meat tenderizer because it breaks down the proteins in the meat, making it more tender and easier to chew. Additionally, it's a natural and inexpensive option compared to commercial tenderizers. How much baking soda do I need? The general rule of thumb is to use one half teaspoon of baking soda per pound of meat. However, it's important not to overdo it, as using too much baking soda can result in a soapy taste. How do I tenderize the meat with baking soda? 1. Measure the baking soda. Based on the weight of your meat, measure out the appropriate amount of baking soda. 2. Apply the baking soda. Sprinkle the baking soda evenly over the surface of the meat, ensuring that it is well distributed. 3. Massage the baking soda into the meat. Gently massage the baking soda into the meat, making sure it is well coated. 4. Allow the meat to rest. Let the meat sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes, allowing the baking soda to work its magic. For tougher cuts, you can let it rest for up to an hour. 5. Rinse the meat. Rinse the meat thoroughly under cold water to remove any excess baking soda. 6. Pat dry and cook. Pat the meat dry with paper towels and proceed with your desired cooking method. In summary, using 1 half teaspoon of baking soda per pound of meat is the recommended amount for tenderizing meat. Just remember to rinse the meat well after the resting period to ensure the best flavor and texture. Happy cooking!